way back 2007, when I was in SHS, um, I was doing that to, you know, um, earn something and then pay my school fees. In Ghana, yeah, you have to be creative to move ahead. You can't be at one place. So at first, people were using all black. When somebody is being buried, you know, probably do wear black. So I decided, no, let me add color. Because you know, they don't want to cry anymore. Some people to, whether they want to cry or not, we make them cheerful. We make them happy because of what we are doing. more respect that we can give to such a burial person. And in fact, it's, it's, it's quite impressive. And we have to encourage it because you have to pay your last respects. But the person has been on, on this earth for quite a long time and you have to give him a befitting burial. Religiously, they don't do this. Traditionally, we don't do this. So we don't know where we can fit it in. But it has come to stay. No, it has come to stay. decided to add varieties, buy my own suits, buy the shoes, buy everything and then we start, started from there and then I got people to join me, people to train and stuff. Right now I've got into and I'm working for my own. We always improve on our choreography, on our dancing, we bring in more styles to suit um, people, for people to know that, yeah, you, this poor bearers, you are unique in your display.